What's happening? I'm Ash, and this sparky little green fella is from Japanese custom guitar maker Sago. Now, of course, Japan has a lot of famous guitar brands like ESP and Ibanez, but of course, like most countries, they do have their small, more indie custom makers too. And to be honest with you, this brand, Sago, I wasn't even aware of them until I found this one last week. They were at this year's NAM, but I guess that's not cool anymore, so maybe bad timing for them. Now, how I got the bass was I received this Thanos seven string Kiesel guitar recently from winning a competition from my band, Never Tell. And I have never really played seven strings, but I do know of my friend who does. He works at a shop called Shimamura, which is a very uh, big shop in Japan. And uh, I went there, took this for him to check out and see, you know, oh, what does he think of it and does he like it, etc. But I was actually looking for a bass too, you know, just checking out what was going to be available because I did have a Spectre 5 bass, which I was using for my band, but I only bought that because our bassist left the country for a short time and I needed something to record with that wasn't his bass, so I bought that. He's back now, so I don't really need it. So I wanted to, uh, you know, swap for a four string because that was a five string. Uh, I do like five strings, but I'm more comfortable with a four. So anyway, whilst my friend was strumming away on the old Kiesel over there, I noticed Reptile here. And of course the color immediately grabbed my attention. But when I first saw the name Sago, I thought it was one of those cheap knockoff companies that you see floating around, but the price wasn't exactly pointing in that direction. And the first thing I noticed when I picked it up is that it's quite heavy. It's just under five kilograms, but whatever, no problem for a beefcake like me. Now in the shop, they basically had no information about it other than it was called a basic four, spelled B-A-S-S-I-C four. And you know, anything called basic, I thought, oh, okay, maybe it's stock model or something like that, but really doesn't feel like that. So I just know it's called a basic four and it had some weird holes drilled into it, which you can see not sure what that's about and the gig bag looked really old and tattered so it was a bit like Ugh, okay here we go well when i started playing it it really felt like a premium instrument and in my experience uh you know a cheap bass is much easier to tell than a guitar like you know i've picked up strats and squires etc and I, to me i sometimes i can't really tell the difference but with bass i know them much more and this really felt like wow this is high-end instrument and I've always loved jazz basses, but I, I tend to use P basses more in recordings because they just sound better and sit in the mix more. Anyway, this has the snappy jazz, you know, thing that they have with jazz basses, but it also has this parallel switch down here and uh, right there, right there, and it switches it up to just sound a little bit more thicker. But it also has this parallel switch on here, which gives that more warmer kind of feel like to it. Maybe you can hear it much more with the pick. So the neck feels really, really nice. And just to like check it, I picked up a really expensive Music Man Stingray in the shop and a Fender Jazz, a Japanese jazz bass. And I didn't notice any difference in the quality. And to be fair, I'm not an expert, but for someone who started on Ibanez Geo, I mean, this feels really, really good. And what I found being here too, is that a lot of Japanese people, they tend to move towards more of the more American brands like Gibson and Fender and things like that. A lot of people are not interested in actual Japanese instruments because, you know, grass is always greener on the other side etc you know i'm in no way a high level bass player but this feels way out of my you know i shouldn't be owning this this should be on tour somewhere but yeah i've got it and i'm gonna enjoy it so i was really curious about the actual company and i gave him a quick google and uh, managed to clear up all the questions i needed by simply contacting them <laughs> 
Apparently the brand has been around since the early 90s, but the official website says that they were formed in 2004 by a man called Ken Takayama under the name Sago NMG. NMG means new material guitar. Based in Amagasaki in Hyogo, which is just northwest of Osaka. Very easy to go to if you're in Osaka. And I'm actually planning to go there next month and, uh, you know, USJ baby, woohoo. They've currently got six people working for them and a YouTube channel, which is uh, doing video logs for Nam and a lot of detailed information on how they build instruments and custom jobs. Like, the, look at this mega looking guitar, it's amazing. So I wanted to get in touch with them and luckily, since it's only six people, I could contact them through Line. Um, Line is like WhatsApp in Japan and I think Korea. I think it's actually a Korean product. But yeah, I could just send them a message and ask them, hey, a bunch of questions that I was curious about. And for anyone curious about the name Sago, uh, you know, I'm actually very interested in why things are called things. So I asked them why they call Sago. And it's because the director, whose name was uh, Satoshi, he, the owner, sorry, um, when he was in school, his friend called him Sagoshi by mistake. Sagoshi, you know, m they mistakenly said his name, but he actually responded like, <laughs> so they thought it was really, really funny. And then from then his nickname became Sagoshi or Sago. And that's been his nickname ever since. And that's why they call it Sago Guitars. It's like a, a banter name for a guitar. Love it. Anyway, I asked them, what the hell is this thing? And you know, <laughs> any details? Anyway, here are the specs. So this was made in September 2009 and it is a five piece Alder and Flame Maple. The pickups are SPJ1s, Goto Wilkinson WBB04 bridge and the color is a sparkle light green. And I think the previous owner added this clear pick guard because they didn't have any record of that. One volume, one tone, one balancer and the switch between the parallel pickups. The neck is hard maple and the fingerboard is maple. Scale is 864 millimeters. I know Japan measures bases quite strangely, I think from, from 12th fret or something like that. I don't know exactly, but I guess it's long scale. Since this was actually like the first model of guitar they actually made, they only have a few photos of it and here's one other one. So I gotta say, I love this bass. I've been non-stop playing it now and it's just incredible. But like I said, I was really interested in the company and their customs etc so a bit more research ask them more details about the company and this is what i found out now also they are a bit pricey because you know they're literally handmade instruments in a shop with six people i mean the word custom is thrown around a lot now and you know to have something that's actually handmade and custom you know is is very special to have so yeah let's check it out so Sago is the highest level brand, all handmade in the workshop in Hyogo. You can basically draw a guitar with a pencil and they will try to make it. It's amazing. So check out the link in the description to the workshop building process. These videos are amazing. You can show, they show everything, you know, and they do have English subtitles for some of the videos. Absolutely fascinating for someone like me, whose carpentry skills are on par with the 90s Homer Simpson. The models are called Sonia curious uh emir i think it is classic style s classic style t and classic style jm the bases are ove riddle defi prime edge classic style j and classic style p <laughs> i should have asked them how to pronounce these i don't actually know now the next brand down is called stem right so which is roughly about 1800 us to two grand um, they use another factory in Japan for the wood making, you know, for woodwork processing, etc. You can't change the shape or specs of the actual body, but you can choose the color and the pickguard. The guitar model is the stem Sonia and the bass is the stem over, over, whatever it's called. Various colors and pickguards to choose from. So it's kind of like a semi custom job. Last in the tier is seed. See, that makes sense, right? Seed is the start and then stem and then up and up then the lovely Sago flower, right? But what I find interesting about the Seed Mall is that these guitars are not just cheaper guitars. What they are is they're cheaper replicas of their artist models. So of course, a lot of the, their artists are not that famous worldwide, but they're famous in Japan. And if you do want to own the guitar, you don't want to spend, you know, a couple of four or five grand on the actual guitar. You can just buy the replica version of it and it's, you know, still playable. It's no problem. It's just, 
you know, cheaper one. Cool idea. So that's the guitar side of things. But if you actually Google Sago guitars, the actual website is the sago-nag.com. But if you scroll down a bit, you'll see this Rayodel website, which is actually the name of their online shop in Japan. But Rayodel is also the name of their accessory brand that actually uses scrap guitar parts and instruments to make coasters and cutting boards and stuff like that. Very, very cool. Another is LX, um, is, which is their original pickups, which all the guitars come stocked with. SIX, I guess it's six, is straps and cleaning cloths. Interesting that for almost every product, they have a different name too, right? Anyway, so I'm going to be heading down there next month and I'm going to check out, hopefully get some good views of some guitars and things like that. But um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. You know, I mean, it's got this, you know, it's got this green stripe up the middle, if you can see right there, which, you know, I don't love that, but it's, you know, pretty cool. And I like sparkly guitars. So just to finish up, I'm just going to put this through all the bass amps that I have, which are digital, sorry. Uh, Line 6 Helix, uh, Boss GT1000, the Neural DSP Parallax, uh, STL Tones. I have the standard uh, Tone Hub pack. I'll, there's an Ampeg in there, which I'll use. And yeah, why not the stock Logic Pro amps as well? Why not? So yeah, please like and subscribe. And hopefully I can convince more Japanese brands to invite me over and uh, check them out. So yeah, that'll help out a lot. Thanks. Catch you next time. So I'll be the one to go